Hi, salam sejahtera. This is Kids Bricks, Mind Over Bricks, and Driving the Bricks. Hey guys, this is John, back after three weeks of hiatus. So, what have I been doing? Well guys, I've been busy with my personal life. My term working in South Korea ended so I had to move back to Malaysia. Then I went to Dubai for about a week to see my son Jack for his fifth birthday. Coming back from Dubai, I got hit with dengue so I was pretty much out for another week. And finally, I've been prepping up to move to my new house and setting up a temporary studio for the time being. Well guys, enough about myself. Let's focus on the toys. After doing some online digging, I have not found any of these toys being sold online in Malaysia. So I decided to buy two of these and make a review for you guys. The unboxing you're seeing here is the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. It's made by Maestro and scaled at 1 14th of the original scale. I bought a unit from South Korea and another from Dubai just for comparison. Interesting enough, both units cost about 150 to 180 ringgits, which is about $50. The only difference was that the Dubai unit came with batteries, but the Korean unit didn't. What really caught me was actually the pistol grip remote. I'm no expert, but I think at this price range, you don't really get this type of remote. Battery-wise, this thing is a juice beast. Each car consumes 6 AA batteries, and the remote requires 2 AAA batteries. You can get decent play times, but don't expect it to last weeks or months. Point to note, each of these cars comes with 3 channels. Significance? It means that you can have the same car of the same type of the same model at the same location at the same time but controlled separately. What? Three people racing together at the same time? Yeah, I know, it's not much but at this price range, this is pretty good. The fact that it's triple channel, you can actually sabotage your mate's car. Not only that, if you're creative enough, you can actually do some synchronized driving. Just make sure that your batteries are fully charged. The inputs aren't analogous, if you know what I mean. It's like driving a car with a gamepad and not a steering wheel. But with much practice, you can actually do some pretty cool stuff. Enough with the controls, what about other features? Well, you do get LED lights front and back. Whenever you push the throttle, LED lights up. Applicable for forward and reverse. Actually, if you switch off the lights, the LED illumination is quite sufficient to drive in the dark. Even in bright light, you can see that the front of the car is being illuminated quite sufficiently. The differential gives characteristics to how you drive the car. To demonstrate, you can see how I flick the back end of the car by locking up the rear wheels. Since these cars are scaled, they both have different dimensions. Which also means that they drive differently. Some techniques are not applicable to the other car and some others are. In short, I had tons of fun with these toys and I recommend it. If you'd like to get a hold of this toy, hit us up on kidsbreaks at gmail.com. If you like what we're doing, hit the like and subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.